Jack has, uh, safe to say, has been assaulted. I nearly died. It, it is, it's, the thing is, that's not even an exaggeration. I could said, knock you out one punch. Said, one said, punch would be out cold. He, There's an exclusive there, guys. Hey guys, you're out going to do right away. So what I thought I'd do for you today is this is going to be the hottest day of the year. And when we do the happy hour, we literally, the studio is an oven. I thought I'd vlog it for you. So here we go. This is a day in the life of the happy hour. Just at the Starbucks drive through and Jordan has just ordered a vegan beetroot milkshake. <laughs> or love. What is that? A beetroot what? A vegan beetroot wrap. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm not mental. I've just worn the... <laughs> I got this shirt, I know, I know you're gonna film me in it, so I thought I'd put a disclaimer. <laughs> but Jordan's doing the editing, so you may never see this. I got this shirt from uh, Latitude last year, and it's just thin, and we are absolutely roasting it in this car right now, so I thought I'd just wear it. So later on, I'll have something more acceptable on. I think I brought my Post Malone top. Oh, no. Nice. You get to see that if you stay tuned. <laughs> you <can't laughs> <see>. <laughs> Typical white girls. I'm gonna drink this, and then I'm gonna go to Coachella. Ariana's playing, OMG. We just stopped for petrol, right? Now, I know that Jack doesn't like wearing shoes much, but I didn't actually realize he was gonna run into M&S Simply Food with no shoes on. Watch this, ready, wait for him to come back. Look at that. No shoes, not a fuck given. Here we have the common alcoholic. Can be seen in his natural habitat, Sainsbury's, feasting <laughs> on his... <laughs> on his daily diet of strongbow dark fruits. <laughs> so guys, I'm in the studio. I know a lot of you guys are always wondering about the studio. Uh, so this is it. This is literally like a fucking oven. And the fact that we're here on the hottest day of the year, you can see there's beads of sweat. That was when I was pushing out shit earlier. I was literally, it's that hot. Just, just the energy exerted from shitting led to so much sweat. But we're doing a festival podcast today, and we will be at Reading Festival. We're actually going as a podcast, aren't we, boys? So that'll be quite fun. We're gonna be doing a, a meet and greet as well, so you guys can come and meet Stevie, and uh, find out why we hate him so much. <laughs> it's the AIDS, he's riddled with AIDS. That's not, that one, not that one hates <laughs> <you>. <laughs> That's not AIDS, but if they knew how he contracted the AIDS, that's more of a reason to hate him. I shouldn't have fucked Jack. I am not my AIDS, it was the animals you're like, you're like the Dr. Doolittle of Pornhub, mate. You go through any animal, any species, any size, even kittens and puppies. They're baby animals. <laughs> you're not, only, not only are you a fucking bestiality, bestiality, whatever they call it, fucker, you're a paedophile one. That's why we don't like Stevie, because he's a pedo kitten fucker. Even fuck baby monkeys. <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> Just a the window is open, that guy is so I had an idea yeah. for my own kind of cider. I know this is old move, but yeah. just pretend this is my version. Have you heard of the Cayman Islands? I have. Right? I thought, why don't I go to the Cayman Islands, create yeah. a cider over there, call it Cayman Cider. <laughs> That's actually really good. Guys, buy this. <laughs> buy this and everyone will be asking, why? How? Why? Sorry. Why? <laughs> did you came came inside? The ground was not there. How? How did you came inside? It's still no, not it's room still room not right. But still, you do know this is a green screen. Yeah, exactly. Buy this. Buy this. And everyone will know that you came inside <laughs> Uh, no, really, that'd be cool. That's, that's fucking brilliant, that. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's that? And today, boys, zoom in on that. Do you want to go on your mic anyway? Yes. Hello? Hello, hello. See, that's the magic of this setup, guys. So when you speak for more than two seconds, go on, Stevie. <laughs> You come up on the screen. Listening now to the Happy Hour. Happy Hour Radio, Pirate Radio 28.8. Call in, let me know if you wear a watch. I want to know how many of you people out there wear a watch. David from Huddlesfield said he doesn't wear a watch, but sometimes he wears a sweatband. Big up yourself, David. Here we go. Here's chasing status. Let you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that on record, please? I despise Jack, mate. <laughs> 
I regret not getting a bucket hat yesterday. Yeah. I feel like I would have made it. You'd have probably got us to go on stage with Dave or something. That's it. And then next thing you know, grime deal. Grime daily and everyone hates you, hates you, hates you. Hates you. Bosh, there we go. We're on a break now, guys. Oh, we can only do 20. We normally do, we normally do half an hour anyway. Yeah, so we, pow we powered through it, but oh my God, this is a joke. Can you see the sweat on me? Quite possibly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was good. No, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's. I think it's going to be a good episode. Easy. So we're just doing the festival episode, just talking about all of our extreme festival experiences. To be fair, this will be up before the episode. Is this going? Is this festival episode going up on Monday? Yeah, Monday. Monday audio. Monday, yeah. Well, so when's this going up? This I'll probably get this up tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So the audio for this, if you're wondering is up on Monday on Spotify, iTunes, well not iTunes, it was Apple Music now, yeah. and what other, like Acast, what else is just all your all your podcast platforms, guys. And then a couple of days later, oh, we've got a footy. A couple of days later, it'll be up on uh, on YouTube. Oh, Jordan, you've got to give me a keepy up target. Right. And if I can oh. get it, everyone's got to like this video. Oh, okay, okay. And, and <laughs> so, come on. Wait, come on. Right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go for 27. 27. Are you actually good at this or not? No. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. No! <laughs> no! 25! Can you believe it? Oh, 27, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 20. Oh, Jesus! He would have done it, so you've got to like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jordan, thank you very much. Pleasure, mate, as um, always. Looking forward to going to a festival with the festival guy as well. So That's it. Like. Um, guys, and, and me. <laughs> no, you're there. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Happy Hour Podcast. Udi Rhino, Stevie White. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Finished. Boom. Done and done, guys. So that is how we do. So what now, guys? Where are we going now? Go to the Just Eat Food Festival. Boom. Um, and see what food they've got on offer. And it's all going to be free, so you can't really complain. Unless it's like quail's eggs, then I'll be gone. <laughs> Stevie. It's good. I'll burn and question for you. Here we go. What is your job? <laughs> I just don't know what to say in these scenarios. See, I reckon it might be something really niche, like a paedophile hunter or something. That's very niche. Yeah. It's something not many people you do at all. You should have stopped after paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> My worry about this whole queen thing that we could get on about is, is that one day someone, to lie? Yeah, someone will pop up and go, I work for the Crown, you don't. Yeah. It's actually a lie. What's so, that? So have you just confirmed on video that you don't work for the Queen? Of course I don't fucking work for the Queen. <laughs> There's an exclusive there, guys. Oh, fucking London are working me nine to five, mate. You know me? You know me? I'm just an absolute geezer. Look at my t-shirt. Got Post Malone on there, mate. Absolute geezer. How do you feel? I let him win. Battle of the ages. Judy Rhino versus Jack, mate. Food festival, just eat, and there was a bit of drama in there to say the yeah. least. Couldn't film too much in there because they had all the music on, so this would have been copyright struck to fuck. So I need the ad revenue. But Jack has, uh, safe to say, he's been assaulted. I nearly died. It, it is, it's, the thing is, that's not even an exaggeration. Well, do you know what? I'll tell you what, Jordan. Yeah, it's going to sound like I'm being like 
What's it called? Melodramatic or no? What's it called when you're like a hypochondriac? Like you overreact, yeah. Overreact, so, yeah, yeah. The, obviously, these don't know what happened yet, but for a split second, you know, so many things go through your head in one minute. Yeah. I thought I'm a goner. I, mean, like, I didn't know what the I fuck won't, was happening. Won't, so basically, for a little bit of context, right? So there's this massive board made of like multiple pieces of wood. It was thick. It, it was. It was. It was very thick, and it was. It was across a wall. And basically, the wind has blown it. It's got like all grass on it. It's one of them like influencer, like board, yeah, yeah, like influencer special, like fucking flower walls, right? But anyway, the wind has blown it. Me and Stevie are getting food. We just hear this crash. Turn around. Jack is underneath this board, <laughs> right? And he's sweat. He's, you can see the cut on his forehead. Where basically he's can come down. Not? You can look. Oh, How's juicy. that hit me in the face? Basically, like I think, like I think basically what's happened is sma he smacked the back of his head and he smashed his phone with his with his with his head there and, and cut himself. But basically we turn around he's underneath this massive board. <laughs> Two guys who I have to say were ripped to fuck had to pull it off, right? And then just the just eat PR team just swarm like, oh my god, are you alright? I'm just like, Jack, whiplash! <laughs> Well, this is like, like, I'm going from scrolling on my phone, yeah. One like you two are getting some food, so I'm stood there like that. I'm scrolling on my phone. Next thing, boom, my head's against this thing. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm you all dizzy. You my head's spinning. Like yeah. I don't know what had gone on. It was only when you come over and went, your face is bleeding. I'm like, how's it bleeding? Yeah. What's that? I thought I genuinely thought someone had punched it me. It doesn't in the head. matter what happened. I'm where there's a blame. There's, There's a claim. claim. <laughs> it's so I'm coming yeah. for you. <laughs> and they were like, don't worry. Yeah. And they're like, don't worry, you're gonna get so much free shit. And then wow. they're like, don't what worry. What we say? What we say? What we say? Oh, happy out fans. I'm nearly dead. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, no. Nah, so, so that all happened. And they're like, don't worry, you're gonna get loads of free shit. Me and Stevie are sort of like rubbing around together. They turn around and go, yeah, you can get a meal each for your friends. So, okay, yes. That's free food anyway. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. And uh, Jack's lucky to be alive, to say the least. I'm still here. I'm still here. Here to fight another day. See now. <laughs> I mean, fucking hell, mate, look. Where there's blame, there's a claim. Just think I'm coming for you. <laughs> Quicker than you ship them pizzas out, my boy. So we're now in China, Chinatown, where are we? Uh, Chinatown of Leicester Square. We're here. How wonderful, how picturesque. And uh, yeah, we're going to the casino to lose all it's our money. So. About, is there? Magic <laughs> line. Imagine if I'm like imagine this, imagine my life. Hippodrome just falls down. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We'll be sat there in the studio next week and see if we'll go fuck on board. I'll go board! <laughs> How get fucking first? busy it is for a Thursday. Surprised we're not seeing Jack Jones doing this That's it. Yeah. Tickle. Is he the tickle, tickle, tickle guy? Yeah. Yeah, what a cretin. So we're just uh, walking past Eminem World. You can see there, for some reason, it's still packed at 10 p.m. on a Thursday. But Stevie, I know we don't always see eye to eye, i.e. on mayonnaise, and certainly not on popcorn and a meal deal. But what is, you got crispy chocolate and peanut M&Ms, order them. Crispy chocolate peanut. I'll tell you the reason. I can't eat nuts. <laughs> Oh, peanuts last. Yeah. So crispy's top. Yeah. Okay, we agree. Fuck me. I thought you. I just thought you put crispy's third. Then. No, no. I was then about to just walk back to fucking. I can't, Norwich. I can't touch on that one. I've never had one. Ah, uh, yeah. So there you go. Now we know his weakness. If we you finally agree. Yeah. If you want to kill Stevie, <laughs> it's peanuts. All right. Wow. Here's a question for you guys. As this is a happy hour video, um, what's your favourite happy hour podcast? <laughs> Let us know. This is the point that you want. <laughs> yeah. Mine is. I like the Bobby Misner one. I like the Anais Gallagher one. Yeah. And I like the Mildew one. Nice, Stevie. Not a bad three. I liked. When did you join? Uh, Here we go. <laughs> when did I join? After when was my first one? You. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Then I come back for conspiracy. Yeah. Then I come back for conspiracy. Oh, Tom, Tom Brennan. Brennan yeah. yeah, and then you did Chris MD. Yeah. And then you were permanent after that. Yeah, but who was my first guest? Tom Brennan. Yeah. How oh, was he? As a, oh, right, yes, sick. We did your one the same night. There you go. Yeah. They were bad podcast. <laughs> oh, that's it. Wow, well, What's your favourite one? The one where, where a true Geordie bitched you out of a seat? <laughs> Sorry, but if Tim Geordie started on any one of us, <laughs> we'd all happily walk away. You know what I am? <laughs> Jason said you know how hard he is. I'm so hard. I'd knock True Geordie out one. Brian, if you're watching this, 
don't message me, please. <laughs> There's no way I'd knock you out. You'd knock me out by looking at me. I'm scared. <laughs> Stevie. And then you worried that I'm the one going, you know, take my seat, Brian, it's fine. Uh, I'm telling you what now. was I meant to do? I wouldn't give him my seat, I'm telling you now. I'll oh, be well, I'll now be we know. I'm telling you now, right? I'll be booted off the pod before I let him take my seat. Oh. I'm like, we're not doing this podcast until either we're in the right seats or you kick me out. That's, that's what, we what can, would we happen. Can arrange that and you know, that, you know that's true. Right, so Stevie, anyway, back to back to the pod. What's your favourite yeah. ones? Uh, the meal deal one's up there for me. Is, I'm not uh, gonna lie, it's a big. Yeah. I quite enjoyed the festival one today that they haven't seen yet. Oh, great! You've got to throw it in there. Monday, that's, that's yeah. two hours. Seas, seas. I love the one with Will. Man. It's sex stories. Yeah, that's that's cracked me up forever. That was a good one. That was, and that tubes. Was and tubes. Yeah, tubes is great. Would no, Bobby, yeah. Bobby Knox. Yeah, that was, was, was Bobby Knox my, the first guest. I think he might have been the the one. No. We'll have to go back. He was after Tom Brennan. Oh right. Yeah. No, but I don't think I was a permanent one for Tom Grennan. No, so it's on you. Nah, it's so it probably was Robbie. Oh, sorry, it's on me. What are yours? Um, meal deal one was class. The, the thing I liked about the meal deal one the most was that we were literally sat in the lobby like, we've got an hour to kill, should we just give it a go? And it turned out to be one of the best ones we've done. And my um, favourite thing is that we're all now very keen on popcorn. Like, they, they won't say it on no, camera, that's, that's but earlier on they I were just, going, popcorn's no. my favourite snack not even, of not all even once, time. Not even once does that come out of my mouth. Jordan um, said and, and now it's Gallagher he one, said, that was a good Jack. one. That's, oh, he's still going. my favourite thing he's ever. Still going. That's he's what he said. Going. Jordan said, don't tell Jack to probably kick me off the podcast. I he could said, fucking knock said, you out one he punch. Said, he one said, punch, you'll be out cold. He said, and when you're out cold, I'm going to open your mouth, like I'm going to blow air into it, I'm just going to shove fucking salted popcorn in your mouth. Not even sweet. <laughs> That's how much I disrespect you. Not even I sweet, salted. Fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, yeah, meal deal one, a nays one, Robbie Knox, ghosts. Good order. Yeah, decent, decent. <laughs> So we've gone full circle now, we're now back at the studio after a long, very hot day in London. It was. Supposedly this was the hottest day in 125 years. Jordan's no longer with us, he topped himself because he couldn't handle losing the 125 pound. Uh, Stevie, well, oh yeah, sorry, 115, right? Oh, you asked the list. The ghost of Jordan. <laughs> um, a lot of character. Stevie cannot get involved in the conversation whatsoever because he didn't have the minerals to bet one single pound. Bet, but Look I'm at not... me, I'm being a right lad. Like you didn't even bet, mate. You didn't fucking bet. I'm, go. I'm, um, I'm not going to promote gambling like you guys, you young audiences. It, guys, don't do Who it. do you think you are, fucking Jack, mate? Go oh, on, I'm better than you. You shouldn't gamble. Yeah, do what you want. Go and buy some popcorn. Oh, so, <laughs> There's no need to say that, is there? No, that's oh, just, you just got demonetized. Well, yeah, that out, moment. out of everything we've spoken about today, <laughs> that's that the worst. There we go. That's the worst. I would honestly sooner that the audience gamble their mortgages away and end up on the streets and start integrating popcorn into their meal deals. That's it. So guys, if you can, go over to youtube.com forward slash that mate, drop a subscribe, <laughs> drop, <laughs> drop a like on all my videos, and if you like this video as well, why not do the same? Um, what do you say? Sure, eat one geese. Sure, eat one geese. Bye. You're such a fucking spoil sport cunt! <laughs>